It started as a simple prank. Now, the student who police say sent out a message on a school walkie-talkie about a hostage situation at a South Valley High School is now facing charges. News 13's Jeff Todd is live at Atrisco Heritage Academy where it all played out about this time yesterday. Yeah, Kim, that's exactly right. It was about 24 hours ago that that two-hour lockdown was lifted, and police believe a ninth grader was responsible. He's been suspended, and he may never come back to school here. It's business as usual at this South Valley High School today, but police spent the morning trying to find out who was responsible for yesterday's hoax. A pretty traumatic afternoon. They believe a ninth grader was at the gym yesterday afternoon when a teacher stepped out. And in that five minutes that uh, the teacher was gone, the student gained access to the two-way radio. The boy called in a fight and then later said there was a hostage situation. Now he's facing stiff consequences. The student has been suspended pending the outcome of a long-term expulsion hearing and currently faces four charges. Those include filing a false police report and larceny of school property. And the school district is taking the punishment a step further by going after the boy for the money they spent on the lockdown. They don't have a total, but under law can recoup up to $2,500. How do you put a price tag on what happened yesterday? The anxiety that was experienced by parents and students. Some of those parents were upset because they were not immediately told about the lockdown. The school district said it did its best. The biggest frustration is always in getting information to parents because there is that lapse of time in which police are dealing with the urgency of the situation and therefore can't always give you information as quickly as you'd like to pass on. But some parents say they were never contacted by APS. This is the perfect example of why it is so important to make sure that you as a parent have all of your correct contact information with the school. APS says that it's reviewing other policies and procedures from this lockdown. Now, as for that teacher that left the walkie-talkie, they will not be punished. Now, the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office is trying to calculate exactly how much they spent on the lockdown, and they haven't officially filed charges against this boy. When they do, it'll be up to the district attorney to get that money back for the Sheriff's Office. Kim? Okay, thanks, Jeff. Now, a letter was sent home to parents today to let them know that grief counselors are on hand in case the lockdown was too traumatic for any student. Thank you.